Thank you to mute it. Hey everybody, looks like I am live. Get this pulled back up, right? I know I haven't been on here in a while, but hey, I'm glad to see everybody joining us tonight for the jewelry jar in the chat. I do have some things to show. Um, I'm getting a little bit of feedback, Casey. Um, I don't have a jar. He doesn't have a jar, but you know, we've been like getting things from online or picking stuff up here or there. And I had a couple of things that I got for Christmas that I wanted to show that were jewelry related. Hey, Kathleen. I see Mike, Kathleen, Jill. Hey, San Juana, Carla. Um, we got Dez in here. Hey, Dez. Barbie Crafts, Lynn, Kathleen, Barb, and Dia. And did we miss anybody? Oh, Hey, Angie. Angie's here, too. We Miss Darlene. Yep, we got 20 people watching. Great. Give us a thumbs up. I see nine thumbs up so far. But I'm going to let Casey say hello because y'all know me, April Bougie Bear Vintage. So, thank you. Hey, everybody. Um, most of you already know who I am. But if you don't, um, I am Casey, I'm also known as Geisha Treasures. And I do have my own channel, but we do the jewelry jar and a chat on April's channel. Um, but mine is just Geisha Treasures on YouTube. So feel free to subscribe. Um, and I do have Etsy and Poshmark as well. My Etsy is Geisha Treasures and my Poshmark is Geisha's Treasure because I ended up flubbing that up when I started. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> I'm so happy, like I said, to be back. And I've got some new expectations for this year. I'm hoping to, you know, grow, grow, grow this business and show more things, do more things as I'm getting more and more used to everything. So it's a little bit easier. I started off with redecorating this room and reorganizing things. And now I have two working tables on either side that I can um, like organize, uh, repair, clean, and that thing on this side. And over here, I'm going to take pictures and have like a permanent setup for my jewelry photos. And then over there near the door to the room, I'll be able to put up my uh, folding screen backdrop for my clothing pictures and stuff. And uh, I moved my clothing rack over here closer to the closet where the other clothes and stuff were it's still a uh, work in progress but at least the furniture and stuff has been uh i'm happy to see you too lynn yeah the furniture has actually gotten in place and now it's just sorting all this other stuff and since i've got the msp coming up too as i'm going through stuff i'm like putting stuff into a box for that so yeah um casey i'm gonna let you go ahead and start first and show the jewelry that you brought with you tonight and let you show what you have. All right. Um, hey, Kim. So I wasn't able to go thrifting with April for this time around. Um, she was very busy, you know, with the holidays. And um, mom and I went on a Starbucks run and I was like, you know what, we're going to we're going to stop by um, our well, I say local. It's not really that local. It's about 20 minutes away. But one of our um, antique thrifting places and i got several things from there um, that i was super excited about and um i made a killing really um on a lot of this stuff but the first thing that i'm going to show you are these two um well really this pair of earrings but um they remind me of the the ivory elephant that i had that was my great my great aunts and i haven't seen earrings like these before but oh they do go with that necklace yes and they've got little um like aurora borealis style uh style stones like i don't know if it comes across in here but it's like got all kinds of different colors and stuff i'm super tiny so y'all will have to forgive me um i don't know if you can see that or not 
got to put your hand back there so it'll focus on it because uh, yeah there we go yeah now the color is kind of yellow on the light so we're not seeing the colors yeah. of the aurora borealis but yeah but um you know these aren't going in this auction that we're having um this coming monday i've already got my stuff set out for that but um just expect that the next auction we have i will have photos because those are going in that auction um Hey, MDG. I don't know you. But I don't either. Nice to see you, MDG Remix. Um, this piece I was super excited to find because it's it's absolutely beautiful, but it is a piece of Damascene. Oh, yeah. And what's so weird about this one, it is a brooch, but I've never seen the back of a brooch like this before you actually pull this piece and then the um, pin comes out mm -hmm. i think that's a trombone clasp is what that's called that would make sense and then you know it just pushes right back in there mm -hmm. yep okay so yeah that um carla said that's what it is a trombone clasp Mm -hmm. It's a very secure one. So that means they, you know, it's probably even a, like she said, a nicer piece because they took more time to secure the fastener on the back. The class. Um, I was super excited because the person at the, um, the store that April and I thrift at down here, this is the first time I've actually found a ring there. And this one is an Avon ring. I think it, um, when I looked it up, it was a size seven and a half. Pretty. And it is gold toned. And it does say um, Avon right there. Um, and that's one thing that I did learn about um, Damascene is, you know, a lot of the Damascene is, um, made in spain but most of the spanish damascene and i believe it was the uh spanish damascene actually does with the asian style mm -hmm. i may have it backwards it may have been the one that used like the nautical or the um i don't know what you call it like the pirate style <laughs> i just yeah. know it's pretty i like damascene now this one um i've never heard of this designer before so i had to look them up but it's city s-i-t-i -I, and they're cute little seashell earrings now they're not real shell i mean they're like you know enamel but they're really pretty yeah those are cute probably like 80s let's see the back of those um they are just yeah, they kind of look like that faux cloisonne, like, you know, the texture on the back of the other ones that you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so and I, this yeah. one, um, I don't, yeah, you can see it right there. It says S-I-T-I. -I. So I had to look those up because this is actually the first piece of jewelry I've had by that particular designer. Mm -hmm. I haven't found that before, I don't think. And this one, I, I felt stupid. Um, <laughs> I felt stupid that I had to look these up. Um, and y'all may know right off the bat, but these are like the um, the coat of arms. And they say LCI on the back, and they have the LC, and these are Liz Claiborne. Mm-hmm, those are nice. But they're, um, they're that pretty... Um, now, uh, did you happen to see LCI? That would be Liz Claiborne International. I, I don't know because when I looked up LCI, and I feel so bad that I had to look that up, but um, it just well, said what I was going to ask was that might actually date um, the time period because I think I don't think they've always used LCI. I find a lot of just LC. Yeah. Um. I found these and these look like medieval clampy things and I think they're scarf clips. No, oh, we love your descriptive words. <laughs> if clampy Sandy can things. have hoo-ha, I can have medieval clampy things. 
but <laughs> I think these are just scarf clips. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think that would fit in anybody's ear. It seems like it. Or they could nice. be used as like for the long pearl strands where you want to double them up and then wear them more like a choker. Oh. Yeah. Um, I got these door knockers. Angie said she thinks LCI is newer. Okay. These little door knocker earrings here. Cute. Now these are unmarked, at least from what I saw. Oh, put those up there. And then these, I'm not sure if I want to put these in the auction or if I want to keep these, which I actually like these. They're the they're like cages. And they're just gold tone. They're um, pierced. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year, Dia. Here is another designer that I'd never heard of before. And I actually have two, maybe three pieces of hers. Or his. I've never heard of them before. But Marvella. Yes. Never heard of them. But um, I have these here. They're just faux pearl, gold tone. And they are the... Um... Clips? Yes. <laughs> I've been struggling today, you guys. That's okay. Every time I get on a video, I forget the name of things. When I... <laughs> I'm like, I know this. And these, um, these are two more faux pearl, gold tone. Now, these are not Marvella. These are actually not signed. These do have, I believe, the patent. Yeah, these are the ones that have the patent number, but I couldn't find anything on the patent because all it did was pull up plans for like a jet engine, and that was really no help at all. Um, <laughs> same with these. These are little gold tone faux pearl earrings, and they are pierced as well. Um, now these, I thought these were really cute. These are Marvella as well. They are pierced and they are faux pearl, but it's two of them. Mm-hmm. Cute. And Simple and sweet. Mm-hmm. Hey, Kathleen. Um, now, <laughs> these I was super excited about because these are Christian Dior. Yeah, nice. I have found three pieces of Christian pretty. Dior at this uh, flea market. Lots more than me. I think I own one pair of Christian Dior. Um, and I don't know what these are. I know, I think they're, um, like, I know they're pins, but I don't use pins. Oh, okay. That's the tie tack. Uh -huh. Okay. That and little bar that hangs down below it. That's how you'll know. Uh, and this one, I can't tell if that's a rocket or if it is a sword or what. I mean, you know. Mm. It looks. Oh. Let me take it off this thing. Yeah. There we go. Maybe put your hand back there so it'll focus on it. It kind of looks like a dag. It's, it looks like a dagger to me. So, um, if you know anyone that has ties and wears them, I mean, we'll put those in the auction because I know um, a lot of people like to resell. I resell men's jewelry, so. And I actually thought about giving these to Haley. I know that she doesn't play the French horn, but they're musical. And they're cufflinks. Oh, cute. Those are really cute. You should list those. No, she, she probably wouldn't wear them, but I have saved her some like musical note pens and things like that because I want her to put it on her uh, band jacket. Yeah. And then I have these as well. These are, um, these are cufflinks. Now, is that a stone or is that plastic? Nope. They're just plastic. Okay. Uh, then I have these, which these are going into Monday's auction because I have 
um, a lot of religious brooches and pendants and stuff. But these are two little angels and the, they're Baloo, B-A-L-L-O-U mm -hmm. or something. I've never heard of them before. But um, both of them have little bitty like what would you call those CZs? Oh yeah, or rhinestone or something. Yeah. But both I of them on their the white wings. Different colored rhinestones may be associated with birthstone or something like that. Allison, she wants to find some women's button convertible cuff shirts so she can wear cuff links. And yeah, I think that's cute. I'd like to be able to find that too. I just want to be able to fit in cute shirts. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I got to work on that one. Fitting now, in cute shirts, I like. These, I like these just for the simple fact that they have that, um, like that satiny finish. Mm -hmm. But someone apparently could not tolerate clip on earrings. So they added 50 pounds of padding and I've got <laughs> to scrub that stuff off. It makes me feel dirty. Yeah, I hate when it's adhered to it instead of like a lot of them that I find have like this little plastic sleeve that just slides down on it. Um, but I have found some like that too. They're glued on. These I like um, and they actually remind me of the um, other pair of Christian Dior that I have like the chain. They're like chain link. This mm -hmm. one's not necessarily chain link, but I mean, they're kind of kind of are. But these yeah. don't have a name or anything, and these are screwbacks. Yeah, I'd say that's chain link. But those were super cute, too. Yeah, they are. Um, four more and pieces. Goo Gone will help get those uh, pads and stuff off. We got a lot of that. We got a lot <laughs> of that. These, I thought, would be so super cute for Easter, and they look like... Um, they look like they were handmade, but they are clip-on, and mm -hmm. they are Easter eggs. Cute. Those look very 80s, too, I think. Those are neat. Are they ceramic? That's what they feel like. Um, it's got that, like, the white chalky powder stuff on the back of them. Mm -hmm. um, now these, I was, I was about as excited for these as I was my Christian Dior. Um, mm -hmm. These are Crown Trafari, and they've got the the satin finish, and they are just gorgeous. Oh, nice! Oh, let's see if it'll focus. Oh, yeah! Wow, those are really pretty. I bet that's part of a matching set the bracelet would be gorgeous mm -hmm. i can I, I would love to see what the necklace would look mm. like if it was like you know spiky like that feathery i really yeah. do um, like safari and when they do the satin finish with the rhinestones that's yeah very classic but i like that this one I bought a bag from this lady. She had a bag of jewelry. And the only reason I bought this bag was for this one piece. And it is a huge cloisonne bangle. Mm -hmm. And it is the, um, I forget what style this is. I think they call it hinged. But. Yeah, that's a hinged bangle. Open up. There we go. <laughs> it doesn't have the little button. No, this one is just a pull apart. But this is actually in really, really good condition. Any markings on it or anything? I always wonder with those if they're marked or I don't think any of the ones that we've found so far had markings, did they? And then my last piece, I like these because they remind me of honeycombs. Um yeah, I've got an I've got another um another cloisonne bangle. I'm not sure if I put it in my shop yet, but I've got to get it in there. Now, I'm not sure if 
these were supposed to look like this. Mm -hmm. They're no. missing the same amount on both sides. The enamel. They, yeah, it looks they like, like fell out of it. <laughs> they look like honeycombs. Or soccer balls with a lot of little marks on them. <laughs> there is a, a logo on the inside of them. I don't know. Y'all, I did my best to draw it. And it kind of looks like a butterfly of a knit. But <laughs> it really didn't help me to try to Google, you know, a butterfly of a mint maker's mark. But I did try my best to draw it to see if y'all could help me. Oh, I've seen that mark before. I bet somebody knows. Oh. That's kind of what it looks like. Can we, can you try to show us on the back of the earring? Huh? Can you try to show us on the back of the earring? Oh, it's so tiny. Um. You don't think it'll pick it up? Let me see if I can get it up close. Yeah, and then tilt it like forward a little bit. Yeah. I don't know how well that that comes. Is that from. like a copyright symbol next to it, or yeah, yeah? It almost looks like a. Givenchy symbol or Givenchy or however you pronounce it but then again when you showed the picture that you drew of it I know I've seen that like in somebody's group or something yeah because it kind of looks like a heart as well yeah like, like Paula said it's weird that the enamel would fall out of it like that but but what's weird is that over the spots is foiled Hmm. So it doesn't look like it's like it fell out or anything. So I don't know if I can find the um what I would suggest is if you find out that the maker is like, you know, a nice brand, I would try to repair it if it's supposed to be repaired. But if it wasn't, something. I would probably just um, be like, eh, whatever. <laughs> the the earring backs for these say Monet. Which, yeah, they, they probably swap those out or something. Carlos right. and maybe a crown, but I mean, it looks more like a V with like a swirly. Like an oven mitt, a fancy oven mitt. <laughs> <laughs> you swear up an oven mitt. I don't even get oven mitt for that. <laughs> you hush. <laughs> but, um, that's, that's what I got from the um the thrift store a couple of days ago what i'd say maybe four or five days ago mom and i went yeah yeah because you told me you were like we went up there and i was so jealous because i haven't been up that way in a while to do any thrifting i haven't really been able to do any thrifting i've been super busy okay so let me flip it back over here for a second well, i got to this light off i'm melting <laughs> I want to make sure I have everything out. Oh, I did find another rooster. Miss Darlene, I found another rooster. It's not quite as fancy as that other one that, that I have. Okay, so. Um, and real quick, Jill said to show the mark again. What I'll do is I'll take a photo of it and I'll post it on my um, my Facebook page. I just realized, I don't know where my loop's at. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is 6.55. Ain't nobody got no reason to be calling me. I know. I, oh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to start out. Let's see. Hello, wonderful people. Hello, The Truth. How are you? Um, I'm going to start out with, I did get a couple of pieces from um, Barbie Crafts from one of her auctions. And so I got this little, uh, I don't know if I'd showed these already, but this little Santa. And his little beard moves. That's cute. <laughs> and because I'm going to hold on, I'm going to have some Christmas brooches on my little Christmas tree next year. I didn't have enough because I sold them all. But I didn't have any super favorites either. And then I also got this ring here. And it's sterling and um, like a glass stone that looks kind of like a uh, garnet or 
or whatever, but it, it's a glass stone and it's a size 11. So I bet it fits you, Casey. It probably would. For your ring collection. So you just keep your eye out because it's going to be in the auction. <laughs> okay. And then I did have like a couple of jewelry jars, I guess, through the time that I've been gone. And this one came out of it. It's a Sarah Coventry brooch. It's marked right there on the stem. And if I have stains on my nails, it's because of that um, gel color, food coloring from when I was doing that Batman cake. So, but here's that little rooster that was in a jar. It's not signed. I don't. Yeah, it is. Take that back. It's a Jerry's. It does have the Jerry's mark on it. Turn it back around. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> And uh, that's why I was saying I don't know where my loop is at. This is marked 925, and it does have another marking on it, and I can't see it. But they look like sapphires and uh, little diamond chips in there. That looks like um, one of the pieces that woman, she, oh gosh, I forget what her name was. I think she was like a lifetime actress. But um, she did a special line through K that had the um that heart line you know you're not talking about the medicine woman lady are you yes i think that's i think that is her he did, he did the, uh, open heart or whatever or yeah. what's it called the something heart kathleen says her mom collects roosters and chickens yeah i have some in my kitchen and miss darlene does too she collects roosters and chickens Mainly roosters. That's what I mainly go for myself. And this one, I couldn't find any markings on it when I pulled it out. <clears throat> it's a little gold hockey player. And he's like diamond cut and stuff. And he looks really similar to other real gold pendants that I've seen. So I'm going to have to test him and uh, look inside the bell a little bit better once I locate my loop. But, uh, and um, he, he almost said it's uh, um, Jane Seymour. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. That's it. Thank you, Guillermo. Uh, this one has some initial, uh, well, I guess it's not really initials. It just says Deer, D E A R, and it's Avon. And it's, um, I'm thinking maybe like one of those birthstone type things, and it looks like a little ornament, it's a little brooch. And it says deer there. And then it says Avon right there. That's pretty. So those are just some things that came out of a couple of jars that I had um I had picked up that weren't really super successful, but those were pieces. This was something sweet that I'm not sure if I showed either, but Cindy sent me during the holidays. She sent me this little crystal glass box because she knows I collect those. So that'll go on my bookshelf. With my other ones. There's some pieces of jewelry in there, other stars that she knows that I would like. So there's a brooch there. Some Avon star earrings. Now I don't wear the clip on, so I can sell these though, but I do think they're cute. I love those. What is that? Like an amethyst in the middle? It does kind of look like a this light, since I have it set with just that lamp, it's really kind of hard to see. Actually, they may be like faux garnet rhinestones instead of amethyst. Um, kind of hard to tell. And then um, I did do some ordering online and picked up some pieces, got some options and things. And this was one of the necklaces. It's sterling silver. And I don't think that it's a real... Um, Topaz, blue topaz, but I'm not certain until I get a gem tester to find oh, out. Kidding. But I do love how it how it dangles. It's it's articulated here, and then the little drop there. That 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 would make a pretty earring. <laughs> it's kind of odd with the large bail though. To me, that large bail there is kind of odd, and then they just sent it on a really small chain so i don't feel like that chain 
really works with the veil, but it's pretty. And so once I can find out um, whether that's, you know, a real stone or not, then I can list or put that one in auction. Um, I got these sets. It's like the, the unsigned matching brooch and earrings. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Barbara. And uh, thanks for subscribing, Guillermo. So these are all um, faceted rhinestones. They do have the back like that. So they could possibly be like unsigned Juliana. I have to do more research on that to make sure. But I really thought those colors were kind of Christmassy. In a way, they're really pretty. So that's the brooch, and here's the earrings that go with it. I love that. They kind of remind me of like a fruit basket. <laughs> My edible bouquet is. Yeah, like this would, I guess, be considered the fruit salad because it's multiple colors. Angie can correct me if I'm wrong. Hi, Anita. <clears throat> and then, where's the other book? goes with these earrings. Oh no. Oh, misplaced the bro this brooch is very interesting. I wanted to show this one. Well, I don't see it set on here. Well here's the earrings. I don't know where I set the brooch for it. But I got these from the same seller. Oh, I love those. The brooch is really different. I'm not even sure the brooch absolutely goes with the earrings, but the colors are the same. And it has more of a, well, I don't know where they are. How did that get separated from those, I wonder? Where's that box? Maybe I overlooked it in the box. There's no way I'm going to find it like real quick, like I'm sure. So, my bad for not being able to show that one. It's really pretty. Um, here is a jade and gold filled brooch that I picked up somewhere. I, I can't even remember if I got that one online or if I found that one at the thrift store. I, it may have been from Goodwill actually, but I found that one. But I'm always a sucker for the gold and the, the jade ones like that. I think they're pretty. This one looks like a 1928. It's not marked 1928, but it does have that pattern on the back like that. But it's a fairly good size. I love right that. It, it, it looks like something that like the Pope would wear. I agree with you, Des. I haven't met a rhinestone I didn't love either. The Pope, yeah. Well, yeah, it has that kind of, um, what would you call that style? Like Roman? Roman. Like or, Roman. I don't know. I always want to go to the word Etruscan, but I'm not sure when I see that. And then we have Anne Klein necklace here. It has some like enameled loops on it. It has the little... And clone hang tag there. I think that was out of a jar, actually. Oh, and Jade again. And, uh, Rococo. Oh, Rococo. Okay, cool. This is gold field ring with a piece of jade in there. Now, it's like, I think I measured it. It was a size six. I'll put that one in the auction. I love that ring. A great, cute little pinky ring. I know I have even a big pinky, so for some people it would fit other than the pinky, but it's cute. Um, this came out of a jar after those jars I did right before Christmas. Um, I had found a lot of the Indian bead jewelry. Then this one came out, so I'm assuming this one was probably part, because it came from the same location, probably part of the same collection. And I love how bright the oranges and yellows are in that. Mm -hmm. 
Happy New Year to all. Yes, thank you, Helen. That would match the brooch. Yes, actually, I could put those two together. That would absolutely would work. You are correct. I can put that together. That does. Mm hmm I would do that. I'll put it together. Um, let's do that little. Yeah, these are gritty. So these are um like the black pearl strand. Has that little clasp like this. Oh, those are pretty. And I think these came out of a jar as well, because I'm always finding pearls. Now, are they that what what is it called? Um, Tahitian pearls. This is the color of the Tahitian pearl, but I'm not sure. You know, with the pearls, I'm not sure if you can just because they're that color call them that, but they do look like that. They have that green and purple. Um, bluish black colorations that they pick up i don't think my lighting's going to show it but when you look at them in person they pick up all those colors i would die if i got makimoto pearls too <laughs> uh, the auction's going to be on the seventh kathy we'll be back with our bi-weekly monday night auction jewelry auctions and this one has like a brass chain and closure and then it has some of these natural stone chips you know kind of throughout well no not throughout mm. just one there and then i believe those are real turquoise beads there's one there there's one here now this one is different than these two here so this larger one i'm kind of iffy about it be still beautiful how light but these i would think they those aren't how light. And then you've got some glass beads and these little copper beads here look like little ladybugs. Let's see if I can hold that up. And these are like iridescent beads there. So that was one that came out of a jar as well. Then from Barb's sale, going on grumpy. Go check her out if you haven't checked out her channel before. She also does jewelry and sales i got these two necklaces everybody was calling them the harley quinn or harley quinn uh necklaces and i thought they were super cool very like they said kind of go go and everything so since they didn't sell for her during the auction i contacted her afterwards and they do look like they're carved out of uh, mother of pearl and this one would be like a mosaic abalone mother of pearl bead there and then the red discs are like a glass they look like a like a molded glass so yeah i'm thinking these are from like the 60s or so that's what i think about these but they're so cute and i think i'll put them together when i sell them just because i like the way they look together Yes, you do, Carla. You have some really beautiful earrings. I think you showed those to me and Angie before. And this one just came in today that I ordered online. It does have a sterling clasp and it has turquoise and amethyst chips on it with a turquoise bangle pendant there. So I have that one. And then what I got for Christmas. So yes, I get spoiled with jewelry <laughs> for, for birthdays and Christmas and Valentine's. Those things. I get my really beautiful new pieces. Well, not always new because one of these necklaces is not new. I actually met a lady online and, and bought it from her. And I'll show that one first. So this one is 14 karat white gold and a five karat aquamarine necklace. I love that one. And I'm still looking for an aquamarine ring, but <laughs> I did get the pendant. And we did meet at a jeweler, and he did look at the stone, and he has the gold. And so he he even steam cleaned the stone for me as well. So it was bright and shiny when I first got it. So I got that one. And then for Christmas, 
so I picked this one out myself and, and got it. But for my surprise gift that he got me was um, 14 karat gold and diamond and blue topaz necklace right here. And this is a piece of the Le'Veon from um, Jared's. And they're supposed to have an event sometime this month. He, he said they told him they're going to have an event. The Le'Veon people are going to come in and I can actually take the, the necklace up there and they're going to explain like how they make things and where they do things and that kind of stuff. But that's, that's that one. Hit the wrong button. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, she does work at Jared's. Does she like it? Do they get discounts? Uh oh, the truth person must have said something bad. No, uh -uh. Uh, um, at her accident that she was talking uh, about. He, pu he pulled a Sandy. What's that mean? Don't come to my channel. Hmm. <laughs> he said. Don't don't visit my channel. You'll waste your time. How Sandy said, you know, you shouldn't be on my video. Go be with family. <laughs> oh, OK. Um, oh, you don't know about the discount, but she loves working there. Yeah, I mean, they're one of the, the only jewelry stores around here. I guess that's like a chain jewelry store that that we actually even deal with because to be honest k's and um what's that other one that's kind of like k's casey um it's not zale it's not zales um actually yeah i think zales is now a part of that too they're all owned by the same people now and their quality and stuff i bought my daughter a ring there and that's when i completely said nope never again I got it adjusted to her size. I had it sized for her. When it came back in, the inside of the ring where they had sized it was, you could see it. It was awful. It was horrible. I told them, I said, no way I'm going to, <laughs> to keep this. We want to order, you know, I want to return this and I want a ring, you know, that's in better condition and nicer condition. We actually upgraded from that one because they ruined that ring when they sized it. It was awful. Yes, Casey got a puppy. Helen was asking about a puppy. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know what kind she is um, because two of her brothers look like chihuahuas. One of her brother looks like a um, German Shepherd. She looks like a lab mix. So we know what her mom was busy doing. She got around. Hey, Dwayne. Hey, Dwayne. The party can begin, he said. <laughs> yeah, she's really cute. And oh, my goodness, the sweetest thing. She was just the sweetest. I've never been able to get a pet and just it be so lovable and sweet. Like, I always get the bad ones, <laughs> the wild ones. Oh, you know. That Somehow nice I managed to tangle the chain. That's great. That's why I don't like those delicate little chains but yeah those were my my favorite my best little gifts that i got for the holidays and jewelry gifts i think that was that was it it was funny though jj got me a pop socket for my phone which is not like the regular pop sockets it's like a little strip and it has like a leather strap that you pull up and then you can stick your finger in there to hold the phone but it says the brand of it is monet and I thought that was kind of funny that he thought about that because he pays attention to the videos and stuff. He's always uh, saying stuff like, oh, mama, it's so vintagey and, and <laughs> stuff like that because he watches the videos. So I think he purposely picked that one out because it said Monet. Yeah, Lynn, I had too. And uh, Aquamarine is expensive, but... She sold me that five carat, 14 carat gold necklace for $200. And that was a really good deal because when I look it up, um, it'd be worth much more than that. April pities are the wonderful. 
Pitties or kitties? I think she means maybe pit bulls. Or kitties, maybe. Kid, like kids? I don't know. <laughs> A cute vintage Monet, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no one in my house watches my videos. Oh, I know. Like, I have to ask Tyrone, can you please just go, like, uh, give me a thumbs up or something? Help me out here. I'm, I try to support what he does. And he never supports me. He'll ask me, how'd your video go? I said, you don't watch it? Why not watch it? <laughs> yes, I love my pit bulls. They're just a mess, though. They chew everything. They're super excited all the time. But they destroy your house and your, and your wood. Anything wooden. Oh, but I did I, ha I did have this other thing I could show was that jewelry box. That that was another meetup on uh, Facebook. Oh, I did. a book. Yeah, it, they look like two books. And so I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, great. So if I want to go out of town and do something, um, and I want to hide my jewelry somewhere in case we were to get broken into, I could put my favorite things in here. But yeah, I love the silver tone or whatever on the outside. It does have a place to lock it here. So the original price on this was $34.95. And I, I got it for 15 from the lady online. But you open it up. And it has this beautiful, like, teal color blue. I know the camera is not showing exactly the right color. But you have this, uh, I guess, bracelet bar here that sets down there. And then these pull out to the side like that. And uh, you have all those little compartments and a little mirror, too. That is beautiful. I think it's really pretty. But to be honest with you, it has a funky smell. So <laughs> it has a what? A funky, funky smell. <laughs> I got smell out of it. <laughs> it kind of smells like, you know, pets. Like I told you when I met her at the door, she had a pit bull, but she had some other dogs in the house too. And I wonder if you could take these little feet off too. That way it'll be more sleek if you were to slide it in on the bookshelf. Metal jewelry box made in India. I don't know where it came from, but yeah. I could always look them up online if y'all were interested in having one like that. Coffee grounds. Okay. Can I just use the beans so that the grinds don't get into that velvet? I'm sure you could like put the um uh, put the beans. I thought about in a fabric the bag. Sheet, or I use that spray that I make in that bottle up there. Yeah. <laughs> that that's my my reseller refresh, is what I'm calling or, it. Um, even like baking soda and then just kind of vacuum it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the problem would be finding other books to go with it and not look suspicious. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. But, I mean, if you're if you're breaking into somebody's house, are you, like, looking at their bookshelf to see if their books look kind of weird? Or <laughs> but that one looks a little bit different. Maybe, I don't know, they might be. They might be. Put the grounds in cheesecloth. Okay, cool. So, as we said, um, we got 45 watching. That's amazing, guys. We got 26 thumbs up. So, if you haven't gave us a thumbs up, please do. And like and subscribe. I'm Bougie Bear Vintage, and Casey is Geisha Treasures. We have some of our other friends in the uh, chat, too. So, if y'all want to put your links in there, and say anything about what you have going on, go ahead, feel free to do that. Check out everybody. Click on the side over there, go to their channel, and like and subscribe to them as well. See if uh, what they're talking about, I mean, most of them are friends of ours, and they do, the sim they do similar things. So if you're into jewelry and everything, uh, they can show you some lovely stuff as well. But, uh, yeah, so we have Monday coming up will be our first one of the year, our jewelry auction. <clears throat> and then I am on Dwayne's MSP auction on the 12th. So if you don't know about the MSP, go check out Dwayne's channel on YouTube, MS, um, Mothership Products on YouTube. And we he does um, auctions. Is it every Saturday? It's pretty much every Saturday, right? Right, Dwayne, unless something comes up or nobody's participating. 
Yes, Des, I, I, Des, I sat there last night and watched every video of yours. I didn't even realize you had that many videos up already. I had missed them. I had watched all your videos and saw so, so many cool things that then I went on to your Poshmark and started scanning your closet for some of the stuff I saw in your videos. And that's when I liked on that fur coat you have. So I do want to take my measurements so I can see if I can wear that. Because I've been looking for like a white and gray kind of a rabbit, rabbit fur coat. I would love to have that. <laughs> I'm going to start doing videos. So Flippin' Crazy said next month. So sub to her if you want. She'll start doing videos next month. Mike does a show every Saturday, usually every Saturday before the MSP auction where he usually interviews someone. And um, is Jill in here? I think Jill's got some plans. I know she was earlier. And Julie said she's got 14 dogs. She doesn't even lock her doors. Yeah, sometimes we forget to lock our back door and our dogs are on the deck back there and nobody comes in <laughs> because even though they're not aggressive, they're loud like they would be. And so I think we scare people away. Let me unlock that. Katie. I forgot. And it wasn't flipping back and forth. This is my gray hair. You got to talk to anything you want to say. Um. About your mornings, what you do in the mornings. Well, yeah. Um, every, well, I'm not going to say every morning, but most mornings um, I do Bible study at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And um, we, have, we have quite a people now who, they may not join, you know, right at 11 o'clock, but they, um, they do come back and watch them. And we get probably between 30 and 50 people who watch the videos, but, um, Bible study and, and Dwayne said he hit 2000 subscribers and he's going to do it. Congrats, Dwayne. Congrats. Sorry. I just want to say that. Um, <laughs> yeah. And Jill said this, um, this Friday, um, five o'clock central standard time on Mike's channel, Roland Picker. Mm. All right. Yep. She's having an auction. So we will be there. And Des says her trailer looks bad on the outside. She said, so nobody suspects all the good stuff on the inside. <laughs> oh, that's our house. You're welcome, Jill. So, yeah, um, like I said, I've missed everybody talking and chatting with everybody. I've just been like super, super busy. like. You know, my kids, I have to run all over the world to get them to family members, my side of the family, their dad's side of the family. Um, and then we had my youngest cousin's gender reveal party. So I had to make the little diaper cake for that. That was like right at the weekend after Christmas. And then um, my son's birthday was on the 28th, but I'm going to celebrate that tomorrow with my children. Oh, thank you, Barbara. And so I've been working on his Batman cake. And you can follow me on Instagram. I'm on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I have my um, Etsy store, my Poshmark Mark store. And this year, I may I may actually pick up something else. You know, I've been hearing about Macari and Des was mentioning Depop and stuff in her video. So I may choose another platform to go to also, you know, like I uh, downloaded um, Macari and apparently that's the app right now. That's really popping. Really? Yeah. I, I figure it's probably about as prevalent as um, Poshmark is, but um, yeah, you can see some of the stuff that, you know, when you don't see me in my videos, you can see some of what's been going on behind the scenes on my Instagram or my Facebook page. And I did make a new header for my uh, YouTube channel and I did change it across the board for my Facebook page too. I have three, Bianca. I have three children from the ages of 11 to 16, which my oldest will be 17 this year. The truth, you have to start somewhere. Careful, you are soon to be YouTube famous. <laughs> Who's that? 
Congrats, Dwayne. Oh, okay. I get what he's saying. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. Hmm. Anything else you can think of? Um, we definitely want to make more videos of us going places. That's something. Yes. And I'll probably upload photos. Um, I would say probably Saturday of um, the items that I'm going to have in Monday's auction. So I'll probably be doing <laughs> that, uploading those Saturday, maybe Sunday at the latest. Yeah, me too. Saturday or Sunday earlier in the day. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> it's usually when I get time to do it right before when I'm actually pulling everything out and getting it organized. I'll have my photos up too. But yeah, when the weather starts to get nicer and warmer, I mean, it does nothing but constantly rain around here if it's not just freezing cold. And when I say freezing cold, no, it's not snow. <laughs> but it's cold to us. We're cold. We don't like it. <laughs> you get so cold more than I do. Yeah, I know. I do. But I don't like to get out in that crappy weather and that gray weather. I can be so outside. I I'm outside in booty shorts and April's sitting there all bundled up in a robe and a sweater and she's like, you ain't cold. And I'm just like, gosh, no, my thighs are melting. And he's over there just prancing around like, like it's 70 degrees or something. But yeah, once that weather's nicer, you know, as soon as it starts to show springtime, um, we're going to hit those uh, sales and hopefully yard sales and th everything we can find again and we'll start doing some videos with that it looks like casey's in, in a dungeon in april it looks all hazy like fast times at ridgemont high <laughs> thanks it's because i'm using my little um my little lamp thing over here instead of my light because uh, we tested it before we started and my ceiling fan light was shining a light right down the front of my face so i couldn't use that yeah i mean you know you either get hazy april or you get ascending to heaven april <laughs> that's what it looked like <laughs> and um so let's see oh, okay it came through um i'm gonna probably upgrade my camera soon so I do have the the iPhone X. I mean, and I will try to start. I'm gonna get a new tripod and start trying to do some of the uh, unbaggings and things like that, uh, downward facing the camera. But I do want to get one of the external ones that I can add um, to my laptop, and uh, that way the quality that you see when we're doing the auctions and I'm sitting here like this, it'll look better. What else was I saying? I was gonna get. Oh, probably a second lamp so that my, my lighting's better for my photographs and stuff. I have one small window in this room that I work in, so I don't get enough, really enough natural light. A lot of the photos I was taking downstairs, but going up and downstairs with all this jewelry or stuff like that is just not what I want to do. You know, I don't want to hear anybody, anyone ever complain about lighting when I'm sitting here and I look like I'm in a doomsday bunker. <laughs> Uh, well, I told you before, like if you're in the daytime, at least you can open the door to your room, which accesses the front porch and you can get some light. You have that one window in your room, but yeah, you're in an older home that, that everything's so spaced out. There's no natural light moving through the house. My house is from the nineties, so it's kind of boxy like that too. I get natural light in certain rooms, but there's not like like that was the thing with my dining room when I started out doing videos in my dining room downstairs. It has no windows because it's in between one living room and the kitchen and, and sunroom. So it didn't get any light really in there. And the lighting I was, the chandelier lighting or whatever was awful in there. And so, yeah. And, you know, we did talk about having the um, the Glitterati subscription boxes, which they'll probably start out like on my channel. I know Casey said he needed some time before he could really, you know, get into it um, with me. I've been buying um, some of the supplies I'm going to need to do them. So I know I wanted to have them there and ready to go at the beginning of this month, but it didn't happen that way. But 
my goal is to, if not by the end of this month, the beginning of next month, to have everything I need and me and him or just me or however we want to end up doing it, we'll make like a little video showing you like an unboxing of what you would get in one of those. And then you'll see them available in my store. At that time, I would let you know that they're now available. Um, and again, if anybody's interested, um, we have the uh, email address attached to what was it? Is it Bougie Geisha Glitterati at Outlook? It's uh, Boozy. Boozy. I keep saying Boozy. Lord <laughs> have mercy. <laughs> Bougie Geisha at Outlook. I'll type it in yeah. here. Bougie Geisha at Outlook.com. And that's when you can, you can email us to that one to let us know that you're interested in um, getting one of the little questionnaires that has a few questions about what kind of jewelry you like and things like that. So when it does get started, <clears throat> you know, um, we'll know if you do sign up, we'll know that. Uh, and the only way you have to sign up is once I have them listed in the shop, when you purchase your first uh, box, which you don't have to do every month, you're not tied into it every month or anything. It's, you know, whenever you want to do it this month or the next month or twice yeah. in a month, whatever you want to do, you'll get your, um, your membership card and then we'll join you to a Facebook group that is private that you'll be able to join with us. And that's where we're going to try to um, upload like extra content that you won't see on our YouTube channel. And uh, we'll be more involved in probably the collecting side of things. Like, you know, we'll pick like a, a certain designer that month and do some research on if we don't already know and do some research on, you know, that particular designer or something like that you know or it'll be like we're going to some major jewelry related event or something and we'll share that with you you know those kind of things so you get like bonus content along with uh, your jewelry that you will receive and the jewelry will be good quality jewelry it'll be designer designer um vintage or designer modern sterling silver some of it may be unsigned but it'll be the you know nicer like something like this that i just showed so you. really high quality jewelry yeah something like this that i showed you it may not be signed but it could be an actual designer piece you know and um, we would do like one of them's going to be a three piece and one of them's going to be a five piece box so yeah that's a little bit of that and like i said i brought that up before but you know, we're still focused on doing that and I'm going to get that going at least by the end of this month, if not the beginning of next month. And I know me and Barb from Going on Grumpy had said, you know, we're going to try to plan on uh, by the end of the month doing another craft auction too. So Good, because if y'all do, I've got, I've got several things that I need to auction craft wise. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, me, you and Barb can talk about that and see if we'll, we can uh, squeeze all three of us in there to sell some stuff. Mike, the prices of the boxes, I will probably just wait until I do that video to be 100% certain on that because I know we had sent out some emails that had those prices listed, but those were incorrect and will need to be adjusted. And now that, you know, like I didn't even think to incorporate like the, you know, the shipping that's, you know, going to be, well, it went up this year, of course, like it does every year. So I didn't even think about all of that. So I've got to, uh, got to really sit down and think about it because if I'm going to be making extra content, sharing all that information, doing all those things that do take a little bit more time, I do want to make sure that it is not only a good deal for you, but a good deal for me. So exactly. I'm thinking around 50 and 75. Three would be 50, 75 for five pieces. I know that might sound like a lot, but if you go look at these other subscription boxes, they can charge you around $39.99 every month. And you're getting like some stuff that you could literally buy off the shelf at Walmart. It's like <laughs> straight up junky fashion jewelry. And this is stuff you can collect, sell, and make your money back plus some if you wanted to sell it and not collect it. Or you can keep what you want, sell the rest, and boom, you know, you broke even. I want it to work out that way for y'all. 
And I mean, so ultimately, you know, if you do decide to resell it, then you look at it like you're just having someone else source for you. Mm hmm. Yeah, pretty much. That was the point of the 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 elite. The five piece one was more about like having us hand pick pieces that you're particularly looking for. Now, the three one wouldn't be like <clears throat> necessarily honed in on um, what you collect. It would just be, you know similar things to what you have listed that you like so that we know we're not just sending you something you don't like. But I know that there's two type of people that might purchase them, people that want to keep it and people that want to sell it. So that's going to depend on them as to what we put in the box. Are those earrings that we got you, Casey? Oh yeah, you are wearing those. Show, show those. The, um, the happiness. Mm hmm. Let me click that so you can see. Yep, those are pretty. And those are sterling too, right? Yep. Mm hmm Okay, then. How long have we been on here? Uh, a little over an hour. Oh, okay. Not we always do run a while because we like to talk. <laughs> All right, so I guess we will let y'all go. Y'all have a blessed evening. and. Um, I hope everybody had a great New Year's and um, we will see you on Monday night, if not sooner. Love you all. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye, everybody.